Blues hosting the Knights, and the Knights are minus 144 on the money line. The Blues are plus 120. The over-under is five and a half goals. The Knights laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. And the Blues getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. They played each other the other night, and the Blues won that game in Vegas 2-1 to one in overtime. The under is 17 and 9 in the Knights games, and the under is 15, 7, and 2 in the Blues games. It is supposed to be Thompson and Bennington, but neither of the goalies have been confirmed. Head to head, they're 5 and 5 against each other. The favorite is 5 and 5 on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7 and 3. There have been four one goal games in their last 10, including the last game they played against each other, and three out of the last four. The road team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The over under is five and five, and the over under at five and a half goals is also five and five. So these teams play each other incredibly well. The Knights are two and two in their last four. The under is hitting their last three. The under is seven and three in their last 10. Four goals and a loss, four goals and a win, four goals and a win, one goal and a loss. Uh, three out of their last five games have gone into extra time, be it shootout or overtime. So one goal games. For the Blues, they are two and two in their last four. The under is hitting their last two, and the under is three and one in their last four. One goal and a loss, six goals and a win, one goal and a loss, two goals and an overtime win. A total of four, ten, five, and three goals. I don't think the Knights lose back to back games to the Blues. I could be wrong. I'll take the Knights with the money line. I'll take the Knights laying the goals. Actually, you know what? I'll take the Blues getting the goals, and I'll go under in this one. Three out of the last four they played against each other have been one-goal games. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.